Greetings. Today I'm going to explain Bergson's paradox. Let's get right into it. Perhaps you've heard single women complain that hot guys are jerks and nice guys are ugly. While it may seem that way based on their observations, chances are they've fallen victim to a statistical fallacy known as Bergson's paradox. To explain, I'll represent it graphically. Let's let the y-axis represent personality and the x-axis represent looks. Both are scaled from 0 to 10. Every man in existence falls somewhere on this plot. And let's say a single woman won't consider a man unless he's at least a 7 on the look scale and also a 7 on the personality scale. These constraints form an area that we'll call the acceptable zone. She will not even consider a man who doesn't fall in this field. So, for example, if she meets a man with a stellar 10 out of 10 personality, but he's only a 3 out of 10 on the look scale, then too bad, bro. You don't meet the minimum standard for looks, so you're not in the running. At the same time, she might meet a man who's 10 out of 10 smoking hot guy, but he's only a 5 out of 10 on the personality scale. He could, in theory, be the handsomest man in the world, but if his personality is enough to par, he likewise won't be considered. Anyways, within the acceptable zone, we have another subset called the ideal zone, represented in blue. These are the men she'll consider seriously dating or marrying. Now here's where it gets interesting. Women will not make a mate selection based on one criterion alone. If a man isn't the best looking, he has to make up for it with a better personality. Likewise, the personality constraint is gradually lower depending on how physically attractive the man is. Consequently, the most attractive men in the ideal zone run the whole gamut of the acceptable personality, whereas the ones who meet the bare minimum standard have to have an amazing personality to make up for it. The same is true when you flip it the other way around. The selection bias produces the misconception that good-looking men are more likely to have inferior personalities. So it's entirely possible that attractive men are evenly distributed throughout the personality spectrum, but the constraints represented on this graph produce an illusion that says otherwise. And that is Bergson's paradox. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line. Take care. Bye.